Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Goosebumps Jen, back at it another video. You know it. A.K.A. Josh Saki, back here with another review on um another film. On a film, actually. This time, last episode was a TV show. This one's not a film. So, a while back, I had started getting Amazon Prime, okay? My mom allowed me to use her account. So, I've been using it to watch, you know, TV. I'm not watching shows and stuff. But one of the things I found out Amazon Prime has really well, that other than Netflix is a huge array of horror films, and not just any horror films, like horror films from all different eras. Like, I've seen some from, mostly from the 80s, I've seen some from the, the 70s, the 90s, early 2000s, mid-2000s, oh, go on and so forth, 2019. And one of the videos I saw on Amazon Prime, I, I, movie that I actually reviewed, it was called Heidi. I'm not sure if you've seen the review. If you haven't, go check it out. But anyways, the one of the movies I, rec I saw... And um, uh, they had made a trilogy of that I really only know, knew they only made one until I watched a review by one of my favorite um, uh, view, uh, movies or film reviewers, uh, Found Flicks. By the way, great guy. Go go check out his channel. He mainly does horror videos, and he does, like, ending explains, and he basically goes throughout the entire story and then finally explains the ending when the ending goes on. But I found out from him that it was a sequel. There's like like three, there was a trilogy. So there was two, three films after the, the first one, or two films after the first one. But uh, back to what I was saying. Um, basically, this series movie is called Hell House LLC. Basically, what it's about, or is takes place four years after a, an event that happened in upstate New York at this like company. This group of people make horror ha ha like haunted houses you know attractions for halloween and get a bunch of people to come in and stuff and it, like they, they hire like people to you know be monsters and stuff and it was like they really do out go out a lot so this year they just in the year 2009 they decided to you know switch it up and stop in that instead of doing new york city where they're all from they go do it upstate new york in this hotel called the abaddon hotel Thing what the Abaddon Hotel is, it is known to be a very haunted hotel. Um, a lot of mysterious things that happened there, like like when it was in use, uh, disappearing guests. Uh, even though the owner of the hotel was cleared of all charges, he ended up killing himself in the hotel. Apparently, the guy who created the hotel, the owner, created the hotel pers supposedly because... Satan or God told him to or Satan did. I don't know which one it was. But he was like very into occultism and stuff and he really wanted to be the modern Dante. So he kind of he wanted to open a hell, a part or a portal to hell right in between right under the hotel. Get my drift. So a bunch of other things happened anyway, so this is a found footage film because of the, the way of the movie is portrayed. It's a, a news or like a interview people or documentary people review talking to people who were there the night it happened. The only actual congruent evidence they have from what happened is a view is a YouTube video footage of a group of kids or teenagers about to go into the hotel, to the um, attraction, which is the hotel. And, to, and then when they get when everyone they get in, they see a guy run past them and all hell is broken loose. People are just flooding the streets, flooding, running away from the hotel, the um, the out of the building. A bunch of other things happens, but what we what we don't see is what happens to other people inside the building, or what happened in the basement. <clears throat> other people, even as one guy who was like an investigative photographer and stuff like that, said like he's like been on so many scarier places, but when he was in that place, he did not go in that basement because there was something bad down there. He could feel it, like it was something that that did not want to, like, that he would not go down there. Um, <clears throat> anyways, the, uh, they learned, so this, they talk, talk to other people and they get a contact from one of the people who was supposedly worked on the haunted house. Her, her, her name is Ashley. She is dating. She dated the main guy who created the company that or does the haunted houses. And she basically brings over a bunch of tapes of them filming what happened, you know, they're setting up and everything like that. And, uh, and low key, I, I, like I said before, found footage films are like one of my like, kryptonite when it comes to horror, when it comes to horror films. I love found footage horror films. 
especially because it just amplifies the scariness because it kind of makes it seem like it's more real, in my opinion. And if all of you don't know about me is like when I was a little kid, I used to be afraid of clowns. There is a there is there are so many clown scenes in this movie that I even like started the old claustrophobia problem started to come up a little bit. Like like oh shit, come on, we just stop the, the clowns, please. But personally, my favorite, um, it was a great it was a great film. Uh, I can't wait to watch the second one if I can get it be able to watch it. But uh, I don't have Shutter, so I need to get Shutter to watch it. Second one. The third one I can rent on um, Amazon Prime, which I don't think my mom will allow me to do, but I'll probably ask her to do, if I can do it. Um, but the other ones are pretty much like... the. All I gotta say is the only good thing about this, the only bad thing, or the bad thing about it, well, technically not the bad thing, um, Sarah, the one main character um, that they're interviewing, is actually dead this entire time. She died in the end of the film, or at the end of the night, on that night in 2009, in October, in the house, she was murdered, supposedly by her face being smashed with a video camera repeatedly, by one of her friends. And then, um, one guy in the film, who's like, the job is to edit the film, is the one guy who stays back when they're trying to finish the interview with the girl, he has to edit the footage. He calls the late interviewer while they're at the hotel. They'll leave the hotel like that. She's dead and she's not really like that. They're tricking you, you know. Turns out she doesn't. She declines the call, which was a fucking big mistake, and ends up getting killed in the very end. So yeah, can't wait to see two because two looks interesting as well. I can't wait to see two. Really, I do because um, honestly, Hell House. LLC was a great film. If you have Amazon Prime, highly recommend going to see it, going to watch it. I think it was like an hour and 35 minutes. Shit was scary to the, like, like yeah, it's a little slow to begin with, but like, like they actually like rev up, like, you know, they, they established the, you know, the relationship between the people, the main characters and everything through the movie. But it's a really good film. I honestly felt like I was on my edge of my bed Certain in certain scenes because I was like I was like shit. I actually I haven't done this in a while, but there was one time one moment where there the guy's sitting on a bed about to go to sleep and there's a girl in the like like a legit woman slash little girl sitting like sitting on the wall and every time he moves she gets closer. I had literally pulled my my pillows over my eyes like oh god please just like. It was that, it was that, like, it was, it was that, like, tense and scary. It was, this movie was good. I swear to God, it was good. The first movie comes out in 26, came out in 2016. I think the third one, second one came out later on 2017. Third one is came out 2019, so this year. Hopefully, it's a good, it's a good, it's a good film. Now, I need to go check out, uh, I'm going to go now, guys. Goosebumps is out. Peace. Thank you all for watching this video. If you haven't done, um, See if you haven't if you, if you haven't get a chance to get if you have Amazon Prime go check out Hell House LLC. You can watch a bunch of horror films on there for free for about free. So just go browse the Amazon Prime's list because I'm going to tell you this anyway. Netflix has one Amazon Prime has one thing better than Netflix. They up their shit update their shit regularly. Where Netflix always has like the same films. Like once in a while you'll get new films. I guess I'm gonna put this right here. Hor the um Amazon Netflix is horror horror. List is lacking where Amazon Prime is like, you know, stacked to the teeth. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, guys. If you have made it to this far in the video, please subscribe. Um, thank you very much for wa watching. It really helped me out. And if, if you have made it this far, please, if you consider, if you think I earned your subscription, please subscribe. It takes only three seconds to hit that like button, the subscribe button. And it really helps out my channel. Goosebumps, Germans out. Peace, y'all. Have a scary night.